was uh, just a gap up here. Looking to get short it. I shorted 200 shares or small. Uh, my strategy on this is uh, I want to see. Uh, usually, what I like to see is to wait for the first bar to close. You see, <laughs> you want to see the first bar close and then uh, then break to lows, <clears throat> and and that's where you short it, or you can short it from the middle of the first closed candle. Um, so I pretty much I play the two minute range. And that's it. Let's see how this works. <laughs> see, that's why I only shorted 200. I know the the news on this one was, was pretty good. It's an earnings, earnings news. Uh. I'm shorted. Some right there. Just got a big spread there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see how this happens when a candle closes, and if we go through lows, we're gonna we're gonna short this. Ah, you see how low he took it. All right, I shorted. I think they're gonna they're gonna flush it right here. I don't want to see it get back into that candle. I'm really watching this offer. 76 is my entry. Damn. Okay. <laughs> That's why you don't want to have a stop loss in there. Ultimately, if, if it goes to highs, and you know, this is a pretty big bar, so strategy's not all that great right here. But, uh, first, you know, first couple of minutes, everything's volatile. But a back test of the strategy a lot usually works. Hmm. Uh, let me see if you if you get follow up on the Adobe. So I want to. I've been watching Adobe for a while. I'll let you know if I see a complexion change. I like UPS. I'm gonna pause a bit, but uh, when this works, it's, it's gonna looks like it's gonna happen fast. It right, looks like they're gonna do it right here, so <clears throat> gotta be quick on the trigger to get out. It's just gonna be a quick flush. Thinking about getting out since uh, since I've been in it so long. 
could be trading other things. If I see any prints above 86, that's it. That's a fail trade. Come on, break the lows. Got some bigger prints now. There we go. I right, covered half. That was a half where I showed at a good spot. And I covered the rest. Forget it. All right, that was a good trade. Really risky though, but could reward you really, really well. I don't recommend training this this uh, strategy unless you've back tested it enough to to know what you're doing. All right, on to the next one. You see, if I would have been more patient, they they took it a lot lower. So 71.25. This uh, this setup works. It's just. You know, in the morning everything's so volatile. This probably would have been the ideal entry right here when <clears throat> when we really went through the the uh, the the two minute low. You see, it's working. I'm kicking myself in the head now. Uh, I got an idea on this uh, CLF. Let's see if it works. I don't want to see it go above 08. Uh, it's not such a high percentage trade, so that's why I just got uh, small shares. Uh, from on the view of the on the view of the proprietary charts, uh, it looks good. Let's see if it works. I made my little hundred bucks right there. I see you worked out. Worked out well. Both my shorts. It's just uh, too much volatility in the morning. <laughs> Crazy. Now I have a little short idea on this uh, FCX tight stop. Covered half. Just seeing, uh, we're getting some buy prints. Mikey, unit MMYT? I'm out of it. I got filled at my entry, so I made 30 bucks on that. I'm gonna see if we could get up to 75 and I'm looking to reshort it from there. Get a better price than, than what I have is uh, 56. It's not that good. Mike, you stay with it? Now you see it's working. <laughs> I would like to short it somewhere up here. Oh, oh well. All right, this is a uh, this is a good idea, I think. <laughs> Some short PLCE thousand shares. I'm, I'm gonna get more. I uh, kind of shorted at a bad spot though. I just realized. 46. That's like the ideal place. You don't really want to short at the uh, at the quarter levels, so might have to sit through a little pain here. Well, at least I know the mistake I made. I jumped the gun a little. Uh, it's working. Let's see if it if it flushes through. 
sad earnings today, I believe, and we got down. Mm. I think it was even downgraded or something. I, I forget. Yeah, I want to see it go right here, or I might get shaken out. I'm going to cover it half, set my $100 scalp target. Oh, it worked out well. Right, this guy's a uh, uh, T3 live guys looking at DN, DN. And I like it too. On the proprietary stuff, it's bullish. We're above the 15 minute high, above the uh, previous day's high. Yeah, see, it's working nice. It's where uh, some profit taking might happen. Let me see. Yeah, I'm out of it too. That yeah, was a little play. Not so uh, high percentage for me, but it's good enough for a little, you know, nibble. I just sold a little bit. I had a 40, but I'm still holding some. Uh, the reason that happened on the it's daily, we just hit the 200-day moving average, which is uh, 3705. You see, pretty much got right up there, and I bet we got a bunch of prints at 3705. 